Welcome back to some more EU4 with me, Daniel from Dan Has Fun. Last episode, we've been trying to placate our new junior partner, England, although they absolutely hate us. So we've done what England historically did, and we're going to go attack the Scottish, see if that makes them any happier. Um, for anybody last episode, because this is the same recording batch, I won't have seen it yet, who may have been like, Daniel, of course the Dutch had something to do with South America. There's the country of Suriname. That is correct. So, I guess for now, uh, customized subject. I mean, here's the thing we're not really in Suriname, so we're going to call it South Suriname. Because Suriname's what, like here somewhere? Maybe up here? Yeah, we're, we're not there. <laughs> so, that'll do. I know, incredibly imaginative. Let's unpause. And yes, we are going to get wrecked probably by France, something fierce. We do have two allies joining to help us in the form of Milan and Frankfurt. They don't have a huge number of troops. Austria somehow has just become the Holy Roman Emperor again, despite the fact they keep getting wrecked. These guys should keep France somewhat occupied, at least for a little bit, until our drilling troops get some morale back. We're a little bit away from Military Tech 18. Not that they have it either. Scotland certainly don't. And now they hate us. I mean, I don't blame them. We're going to go in and just occupy this space. And we're blocking the Irish Sea, so Scotland can't come over here. Uh, we also want to sit on Mayaka. We do want this province just to make our borders in Florida at least consistent. Where's this happening at? Somewhere that's relevant, but not super relevant. Split this stack in half and go over there, please. And yeah, last episode we also got baked Alaska. Landlocked, unfortunately, unless you count, well, the little you know, the little rivers up in northern northwestern territories and Yukon, but they can't get to a coastline, which is what matters. You go sit on Ulster. I don't know how much land we're going to take from Scotland right now. We're just going to do something, to, like I said, to try and placate England a bit. I don't know how they have 51,000 troops suddenly out of nowhere. Did they buy mercenaries? Uh, military. Armies. England. Yeah, they did. They got 41,000 mercenaries for some baffling reason. Sweden joined, eh? Cool. Didn't expect that to happen. That's okay. Well, we'll deal with that too. If we can get this one province off Sweden, I would say that's a pretty good win. I mean, we do have a permanent claim on it, and it would be great for the state that we're in. I don't see Scotland coming over with their 10,000 troops to do anything, so I guess I can take this army over to the Swedish side, who only have 20 the navy over to where they have 24 ships. And we'll go annoy them instead. We could cynically try and take some land to block po you know, the Commonwealth expansion. That's another thing that happened last episode. The Commonwealth formed terrifyingly. Yeah, if we sit here, Sweden can't do anything. And if they want to come and occupy my land in Eastern Europe, I mean, cool, good luck to you. I guess we'll just try and knock them out of the war as soon as possible, because they're not really my priority. I also love that we're trying to take land for England, and England will not get involved. That's really amusing. We pay that loan. You guys are going to sit on there and occupy it. That's fine. Thank you for the free admin points. We'd love to see it. We're nearly at our cap again. Are we, are we, okay, we are prioritizing this. Let's flip that to military. Thank you. And I guess we can state some more stuff. So I'm not convinced if I'm going to keep or give Leinster to England yet. So we're not going to do that. We don't have some great choices, really. 
And then we have Livonia, which is also pretty dangerous to state. Flanders, we only have one province for, so that's not super exciting. We do have all three in North Karelia, but it's tiny. We, like, we don't really have any great choices. So I guess we won't do that at all. We'll go for development. Uh, do that just so I can get an even number, please. Taking a sip of my water too while I'm at it. Get that to 10. I'm not going to go too over the top because we do need admin points probably for this war, but we'll do that for now. Why would you get this many? Uh, where's my... Navy, what are you attacking me with? I mean, that's mostly a transport fleet, but I guess we'll go over and help. Put 70,000 troops all in one place. That's not going to be good for your attrition. Yeah, I was thinking, hey, it's something they want, so maybe they'll come and help do it. I guess not. No, oh, England's Navy is doing work, though. There's Scotland's Navy. Where's it going? Can we catch it? Probably not. Well, England did. So, I mean, we can by extension. Oh, dear. Hang on. Hang on. Portugal's giving up one, two, three, four, five, six provinces. And then their colonies are having to give up a ton of land as well. Oh. Oh no, what have they done to my boy, Portugal? Oh dear. Oh dear. Well. That's not great. Especially because they're no longer in a war. We're going to have to keep an eye on that, because that is probably very bad news for us. Why is Milan up here? You don't want to go and deal with, you know, France next to you? No? Why, why would you do that? Yes, I know. That's fine. Why do I rely on the AI to do anything correctly? <laughs> Every time I'm proven they are incapable of doing it. Well, go heal up. You might as well. And you can go sit in the Irish Sea again. Yeah, so France is just going to slowly occupy some things in and around us. It's fine. Portugal and Scotland arrivals. That's also fine. Makes sense that, that attack was going to happen. Well, I guess then because Scotland is going to do abs uh, well, Scotland's not going to attack England, and England's not going to attack Scotland. I guess we'll have to do all the work. Do you really want to be in this war? Apparently, you do for some baffling reason. Five, four, five. Give me, give me, give me. Uh, what? How do they break away? Okay. <laughs> that makes this different. So the mechanics on this are very different then. So they broke away. Which means they're in a treaty. But the treaty date still sticks with the original. So we get 11 years to then go and attack them again to restore them. Which means... I mean, essentially, I can take all of Scotland's land then. 
Okay. Sure, well this wasn't the way this was planned. It's a little bit annoying, but... What are you going to do? Will you finally... Peace out? No, of course you won't. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Well, like I said, that just changes this game plan enormously, I guess. Wait, they broke the Union, but they're still at war with Scotland? How does that make any sense? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Oh, that's... That's incredibly annoying, then. So, we need... Where is our navy? Our big navy is sitting in France. Incorrect answer. You need to get up here so I can siege this out. Well, I knew it was going to be interesting having England as a junior partner. I didn't think this was quite how it would go. Sinner sucks, of course it does. Uh, yeah, I guess you're not going to need to be over there befriending them, eh? Get on war. Hmm. That's going to make them incredibly difficult to deal with. And it means they're going to join a coalition, too. That sucks. That outcome really stinks. But on the flip side, I don't really have to defend England anymore. But it does mean I need to get this blooming siege dealt with. Because the whole dynamic of this war now is very, very different. I have to start sieging everything up here as much as I can. So if we could hurry up with that. I'm even tempted to run it. No, okay. Good. All right. How many troops do you have? 19k? They're all down here. 4,000 troops. Need. Why would we need to... Oh, because there's a fort there. Aye. And because they don't have any forts in the south, England's going to recapture all this with impunity. Okay, change of plan. Get over there immediately. Very, very annoying. And then once this has been occupied, we'll cart you around to go park in Lothian. Yes, I know. I'm losing... Tr That's not close. Scotland? Okay. I would love it if Milan would stop being dumb. And why are they down here? Okay, that's France's actual navy. Can we get there, please? Nope. They're going to get away. This is going very, very poorly. Yes, I know. Let's just get the Siege of Stockholm so we can try... Or not. <laughs> oh, such great ideas. Or at least, maybe, good ideas. I thought they were good ideas. Clearly not, not so great. And my transport fleet's on the other side of the world, isn't it? Sure is. And I can't get it back. Okay, well, okay, okay. Game plan change. Why is Milan going over here? You will peace out. Will you give me this one piece of land at the same time? No. Congratulations, you're getting war reparations and you're paying me. Not because you have a ton of troops, you don't, but because the AI is stupid and it keeps going to Sweden for everything. You're black flagged, so let's get you back. Um, still going to suck to get you across the border, but we'll deal with that afterwards. Colonial expanse. Let me expand freely. We have no way of getting you there. Now, if I had the ability to, re to ally Scotland on the fly, I 100% would, so I can batter England again, but... What are you going to do? Uh, what we should do is take one diplomat and put them on own subject countries, 
Put one on allies. Uh, you can put that back now. Yeah, I don't know why Milan committed to putting 33,000 troops on the opposite side of Europe, but that's just AI things. I have to be careful because my troops still suck. Uh, you have 19,000 troops left. I do have four transports, which is not very impressive, but it's better than nothing. So we should prepare them. Put them in my main navy. Uh, take the money. What's our force limit at? We're still pretty close. combine up and we're going to very slowly start moving some troops over And we caught their navy, too. You may have noticed I'm quite quiet, because this is far more dangerous than it should have been. It's far more difficult than it should have been. I did not expect uh, essentially everything to go wrong, but it's okay. We'll work it out. Send a colonist... Those 10,000 peasants aren't going to be able to do anything because of the fort, so that's fine. I'm going to give them a month to heal my ships. Siege of Dunfreeze is done, is it? Perfect. Okay. Uh, how exactly did you manage to do that before we did? How did you get over here despite the fact that these two forts exist? Three forts exist. That doesn't seem accurate. Something about that seems wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Uh, oh yes, there's no point me going there then, because it doesn't count as my siege. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Like, they just wandered through all of my forts. Extend to transport. Go to Schlenschvig, please. It's the closest place I can get where I should theoretically be safe, although I thought I was safe there, but apparently not. Well, this is going great. Frankfurt's doing nothing. Milan has had to walk away halfway across the planet. The one saving grace is that because this is the same war, I don't have to give England anything. That's fine. That general dying is irrelevant. But because... I can't really put my navies away at war in this case. They keep getting battered by France, who just keeps sitting and laying a siege to them. Um, you go hide. I don't need to lose more ships. There you go. This 49 stack should be safe. The other problem is I don't have my war goal because it's down here. So I guess I'm going to have to take the war goal. Maybe we can piece them out that way. Oh, we have a government reform to enact. 
Yeah, this is going really, really badly. Uh, tier 10. More governing capacity. Cheaper cores. More policies. But that's not free policies, bear that in mind. Uh, war score versus other religions is... Oh, I mean, for us, that's pretty useful. I'm going to say do that for now. Not useful in this war, but still. Yes, I know, I'm losing locations here. Are you safe again? Okay. Uh, we need to start moving our troops back. Minus 9% on the war score. That's pretty bad. But again, it's because what's the AI doing? <laughs> doing absolutely big old nothing. Not even in France. Okay, got the war goal, so we're back to pretty much breaking even. I don't really want to break Scotland's stack because that'll just help England long term, but I mean, it's good for war score, so let's get it done. Why are our war stats, bad battle stats, so bad? Like, we are so bad in combat. And we're even on war mode, and we still suck. Okay, that was war score. Why are you not moving? Get over there. This is this is a terrible time for the game to decide it just can't do game things. You don't need to climb, it's in the port. Okay, maybe if we move that stack. I mean, it's confused by the 24 stack that's there next to it. Who knows? What about now? What is it trying to do? It's looking for other transports. That's what it... Oh, for goodness sake. I want you to use this stack. You know, the stack we were using before. <laughs> Love it, heck. And we're going to lose more and more forts. Somehow we're still positive on war score. I have no idea how. For the record, but... They would white piece out, I'm tempted to do it. Because this has been a straight up disaster. No, we probably shouldn't, because that means we've just wasted our time. Uh, let's go deal with this, I guess. If we can, if Scotland's Navy doesn't get in the way. And it's ahead of time, but we clearly need this too. Because our units suck. <laughs> our units suck real bad. Why won't you guys combine? Because we're on an automated fleet mission. Come on! Just combine for the love of all that's holy. Get back there and start desieging things. Hopefully France is now being distracted down south. Uh, oh, what a terrible time to get Roman colony fever. 
Excellent. We've dealt with our peasants. Silly peasantry. This is a terrible time. At least we're saving some money. And if England's navy wants to get smashed around a bit, I am A-OK -okay with that. Really? You guys are back already? Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to have to get some mercenaries temporarily? This is going to be expensive and painful, isn't it? This is going to suck. This is going to eat a lot of money. Like, for context, like... Even though we're ahead, they have significantly higher discipline for some reason. Well, because it's France, but... You guys need to get out of the way. You guys also run away. Once you can run away. Thank you. Cool. That's going to be an expensive, painful reminder. <laughs> that our army stinks. Don't come over here, just keep sieging them. They're up to 25%. We are going to be hemorrhaging some cash, but now we might be able to piece them out and get something useful. If I take this, that's 21% aggressive expansion. And you'll annul... You'll, okay, this is not too bad as it happens. This was going to be a disaster, but it's not that bad now. They won't give me war reps too, but that's fine. You won't give me this one province? I was going to say, I don't want all of it, I just want that. Um, okay, well, considering how much of a train wreck this was going to be, I'm okay with this. Will you give me any money? You'll give me a little bit. Yeah, I don't need that one province there, that's not that important. At least not right now. Why won't you do this now? Okay, that'll do. Okay, well that was an absolute disaster, but it makes the game more interesting, I guess. So England broke their relationship with us off. But they didn't gain any land out of that. We gained Northern Ireland, so at least we have a contiguous border. You're clearly going to have to stay here with one stack. Uh, this group of transports can now come and combine... Stop doing the things that you're doing because you're doing them badly. Do that. Um, I know it was an expensive waste. Oh, nearly expanded the, disbanded the wrong group, but alas, I don't need them anymore. These two can come together in one stack. We need to build very, very obviously um buildings that give us more force limit expensive and painful we hate it but it's something we need to do because we need to have troops in places we can't have them be right now without spending a bajillion dollars or gold or pounds or whatever currency they're using gold i guess well that didn't go very well but it makes the game, I guess, more a bit more interesting, right? So, uh, next episode, we will keep going. I don't know why you're over here, but whatever. Get this, get this stack of troops over. For the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> next episode, we'll work out what all the rebellion's going to be. We'll, we'll try and clean things up. The one positive is we didn't lose a load of troops, and we still have a lot of manpower. But we still won't be perceived as weak. Hopefully you liked the video, uh, even though it was a bit of a mess. And hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your day.